Hi everyone and welcome to the Trucking YouTube channel. Today is our first chance to get up close and personal with this truck. That is the updated 2021 Honda Ridgeline. Now in an upcoming video, we're gonna do a full towing test, but for now, we're just gonna do a walk around, dive into all the features on this truck, including all of these super cool accessories. So let's take a look. quick thank you to the folks here at Midland Honda for the use of today's Ridgeline. Let's start by looking at the changes. So first of all, I want to show you this perspective here. Basically, everything from that A-pillar back is the exact same. So this is the same Ridgeline as it was last year. But everything on this front end from the A-pillar forward, that's pretty much all new. And you can tell Honda is trying to make this truck more rugged looking, tougher looking, because they've always been beat up for having sort of a soft pickup truck. And I think it definitely worked. It looks more aggressive now, a little bit sharper in the front end. It's got these big kind of teeth down here. And uh, our model today is a Ridgeline Sport, although it does have an upgraded HPD grill. So that is a unique grill in there. The whole thing comes together to look really nice, I think. Of course, now I want to hear from you guys though. So right away, why don't you go down in the comments and let me know. Did the styling changes for 2021 make the Ridgeline look a lot better or does it kind of look the same to you? Go down there and let me know and then we'll talk about all of these accessories. Honda is definitely trying to step up its accessory game too with so many people these days going camping with their vehicle and overlanding and just off-roading in general. Honda is trying to make sure that you can get all of those accessories right from its catalog. And on this truck, that starts with this roof basket. So you have to, first of all, get that roof rack. And then this is the optional roof basket. And that thing is seriously handy, especially if you are doing something like camping. And speaking of camping, take a look at this. This is actually a Honda branded tent, which will fit in the bed of your Ridgeline, which once again, you can order right through Honda accessories. So it's all gonna be branded correctly. You know it's gonna fit. That's pretty neat. It's something that most brands are doing these days. Now the other things on this truck, like I mentioned, this is just a Ridgeline Sport, but it has been dressed up with a whole number of accessories. So to start, when you come up here, you have this black nose guard, which not only will offer you some protection, but it looks pretty cool. You get these plastic over fenders. Now there is a new HPD, that's Honda Performance Development model for 2021. This is not it, but many of these parts are those HPD parts, including this set of 18 inch wheels, which in this case are wrapped in BF Goodrich KO2s. Nice to have the all terrains, gives the Honda a slightly wider stance here. And that's a nice looking set of wheels. Now moving back from the wheels, you also get this cool set of running boards. And what I really love is Ridgeline embossed right into that running board. Now me personally, I don't think this truck is really tall enough to warrant running boards, but uh, that's totally personal preference and depends on how tall you are. Now let's look at some of the things that haven't changed. And the biggest one is the power plant. So this is still a three and a half liter V6, making 280 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque, sent through a nine speed automatic transmission. And it's a little bit too bad that Honda didn't update this to the 10 speed like they did in the Odyssey. I suspect that is eventually coming, but I guess we will have to wait and see. Now one point here in Canada, the Ridgeline has always been standard all wheel drive, but now in the United States, that is also true. No more front wheel drive Ridgelines. These trucks are all going to be all wheel drive now. Here on the interior of the Ridgeline, there's been a couple of small changes. And the biggest one maybe is right there. Yes, there is a physical volume knob that has been added back to the infotainment system. Honda was tired of people complaining about no volume knob, so it's back in all of Honda's vehicles, including the Ridgeline here. Honda also updated the infotainment slightly with new graphics, which they say are slightly easier to read and easier to use. Um, I've only played around with it for uh, just a couple minutes, but doesn't honestly seem all that different from the old system. And besides that, everything else in here is pretty much standard Ridgeline. Still the push buttons for the transmission. There's your off-road driving modes right there. I can show you how those work up here in the screen. So when I hit that button, you can go through the different traction modes. Yeah, like I said, everything else up here is still standard Ridgeline, which is not a bad thing. I don't think they really needed to update this interior. They just tried to make it look better on the outside. 
Another thing we talk about a lot on the channel is payload. So let's take a look at what the Ridgeline has on its door jam sticker. 1,477 pounds. That's better than uh, some of the half tons we've tested recently. And being nearly 1,500 pounds for this midsizer is pretty impressive. So you know what, go Ridgeline. Now when you talk about towing, this truck still maxes out at 5,000 pounds, so you're not hauling any massive trailers, but uh, yeah, that cargo capacity is pretty dang good, especially when you consider you now have a roof rack to load up. <laughs> at the rear end of the Ridgeline, nothing has changed, but I still have to show you, because it's cool. The tailgate drops traditionally, and then it still has this little release underneath here, and the tailgate can swing open, allowing you to access the Ridgeline's trunk. No other truck manufacturer has copied this yet, but this is a brilliant idea. It's nice to have a proper trunk, get your stuff out of the weather. There's your spare tire. Now that's a bit annoying if you have to uh, take something out of your bed to get to your spare. However, this keeps your spare tire out of the weather. Normally on most trucks, the spare just hangs down underneath. That means it ends up getting rusty and uh, corroded. This spare tire is nicely tucked up there in the bed, so it's gonna stay nice and clean for you. The bed on the Ridgeline is pretty clever. I also got the chance to take a look at a second 2021 Ridgeline, this truck right here. Now this is a Ridgeline Black Edition, so it is top of the line. And it also has some accessories. You can see those over fenders, a set of KO2s, that nicer grill. And maybe my favorite thing on this truck are these wheels. These also come from Honda Performance Development and they're so cool. They actually have those little dimples and yes, they are real. They're not just painted on there. Those are proper little dimples machined into the wheels. Now this is a cool feature too. This is a bed extender, but it's actually specifically for motorcycles. You can see from this side shot that it hangs out over the tailgate to make sure that the back wheel on your bike will fit. There's two tie downs that go up front too to make sure the bike is secure. Honda is also happy to sell you a rack for your bicycles, which goes up there on the roof. So you could haul three bikes at once like this truck is. Now on the inside, the Black Edition is pretty similar to the Sport. However, you see some of the nicer accents. Basically, they black it out. You get black leather, you get the piano black. Everything is nice and black. And there's one other piece of news I have to share with you before I go. In 2021, in the first quarter in the US, Honda Ridgeline sales are already up by 55%. So these changes for 21 seem to be having an effect already. Well, folks, that is it for this one. So as you can see, what Honda really did for 2021 is they tried to make the Ridgeline look tougher, and I think they succeeded. Of course, I wanna hear from you. And don't forget, in an upcoming video, we're gonna do a full towing test with this truck, so make sure you come back to the channel. Like I said, that's it for this one, so go below, leave a comment, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that join button, and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next. See ya.